Welcome back, everybody. Today is a WTF video. One of the, I don't know how this made it into the patch moments, featuring Lich Bazal and her new buddy and a bunch of Wrathweavers. Yep, it's a simple strat. It is incredibly funny. It is super consistent and breaks the hero. Turns out that if you have demons in the lobby and you have the ability to just stay on one forever, never push the level up button, you can gather up tons and tons and tons of Wrath Weavers. Those Wrath Weavers, whenever you play a demon, usually deal one damage to your hero. But with your new buddy, you gain that passive Malganus effect and the new buddy scales every time you would have done damage to your hero. So for every Wrath Weaver that's on that board, that buddy is scaling 2-2 per demon played, aka 4-4 for every demon played now. For every Wrath Weaver. Get a hold of 12 plus Wrath Weavers and your whole board is scaling massively. It is hilarious. It may not get tons of firsts because, you know, you just make like a bunch of 100 hundreds on the board. But how do you lose? You just stabilize at like 30 some health and you just coast in the top two. It's beautiful. It's funny. And it needs nerfed. All right. Enjoy. We're going to want it because we want to continue to scale. So we should do it in the right order though. Because this thing gets an extra buff from there being two Wrath Waivers. Yeah, you remember that whole thing about if you're playing the game fair, then you're doing something wrong this patch? This is what I'm talking about. Do I need this? Turn six, by the way. Yeah, like, if you're not doing something disgusting, then you're not really playing the game right now. Like, just Illidan having a little immune, I severely overrated compared to how good this kind of shit, or this kind of shit, is over the course of the mid-game. Because you only have, like, eight turns to get online as Illidan. Having an extra Divine Shield, or immunes, is like, that's great. But when you're 40 health or 40 stats off on what you're fighting, a couple immunes doesn't make up for that. Now, don't get me wrong, Illidan's still a way above average hero. But it's not nearly as busted as what, like, Tavish is on average. Or, like, what Barov does. 18-18 for nothing, damn. Yep, yeah, that's our game. Now, this is nearly a perfect Lich start. Let's be honest. It is disgustingly good. What in the fuck? <laughs> 
All right, you can't help but laugh because Bob just wants this to show off why this is bullshit. Guess we just drop out of here, huh? <laughs> I call it bullshit. Call it what you want. <laughs> Oh, this, this meta, man. <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Just give me a demon. It's cool. That's fine. That one seems decent. Just like, why is this game like this? <laughs> Oh man. Better to sell imp, you can counter shields. Yeah, maybe eventually. But I think we take up all those spots. So for the short term, I value a minion staying on the board. Like we're already at four permanent slots or slots here. We're gonna level to two eventually. We can find ourselves a ghoul or selfless heroes. Because that's really what we're gonna do in the long run. We really just want to get a hold of enough pink men that going the four gives you the same demon percentage as one. It's just getting a hold of enough Wrath Weavers. So like leveling from this point makes sense. And then we can get Golden Selfless Hero. We can get a hold of Ghoul if we want to play to deal with Divine Shields and whatnot. But there aren't many Divine Shields in this lobby to be fair. No mechs and whatnot. Yeah, like everybody else just has to look at these boards and go, yep, can't compete with that in the mid game. Can't compete with that either. Can't compete with that. Like, if you see the broken boards, like, this Tavish board is as good as this board two turns later. Or turn later. And he's a whole turn past that point, and he's not even strong in this game. Like, that's an average Tavish game. Apparently, Florgal's bigger than that. I'm going up at this point, I think. Should've gone up last turn. We'll take a rat, or Selfless Heroes when we see him. Um, we eat the pair. How many pink men are there in the pool? 16. We have 10 of them. <laughs> there are 16 total. Now, Nas got a better roll this game. Got a really good start. Seems to have gotten easy opponents. Lived and went to four. Got a hold of elementals. But you got to get to that point. And if there's like our example last game of Nas was a typical example of Nas from my experience. I've seen him get seventh or eighth quite a few times. And feast or famine lines like that are not good enough to be played in this meta. He's just going to the moon. How'd you get so many Wrath Weavers? Stayed on Tavern 1. Got lucky with rolls too. RNG, yep. There's definitely really good rolls, but staying on 1 until turn 8 was part of the reason as well. So you're saying there's more? Six more in the pool. As long as nobody else own one, owns one. At this point, we pick up Selfless Hero, Demon, Wrath Weaver, and that's it. You could argue a ghoul if you think there's going to be a lot of divine shield. No beast in the pool to play for Macaw. Wow. Look at these elementals. <laughs> he didn't even have recycling wraith. Like this isn't even a real elemental board. This is just Domo. Alright, animation speed. It's 
Cyclone could have a future use. Nothing really has any future use, to be fair. A lot of economy. Should cycle this and roll. Like, we can even double buy from the next board. If we don't get it, we can always just put down the Gambler or the Cyclone for a turn. Gotta make an argument that this Ghoul is worthwhile to keep permanently if we're gonna play it. Because it's not like we're scared right now. It's probably above average. Unless we get another Wrath Weaver. And then we're out of slots. So I don't want to play it. Keep it in hand. Yeah, I mean, then you have to spend three gold on it. Do I view it as useful for late game? Like, if I'm going to get a golden selfless hero here... At some point, does this make the board... I think it sometimes does, so we pick it up. But there's an opportunity cost to it, right? It's good against elementals. It's okay. Like, it's an okay card. Like, any taunt kind of does the same job with a first position elemental. I really should have played this last, though, against Tavish. I mean, good for you with your awesome board here. <laughs> That's how it works. Yo, Harain with the five gift subs, dude. Appreciate the support, man. You know, if the level to five nerf is permanent, it's intended to be. Doesn't mean they won't change it at a later point. But it's not intended to be rolled back. Like there's no timetable for that or whatever. These are bad. Why are our tavern two so bad? Actions per hour. Why is this animation so slow? <laughs> oh man. This isn't even as broken as the curator board we made. Remember our curator board with Golden Smuggler? We're turn 12, we had a 350, 350 mismatch and a 250, 250, or whatever it was, 200, 200 curator bot. I remember. <laughs> Divine Shielded, turn 12. I remember. <laughs> Why are we on Tavern 2 and still cost 5? We stayed on 1 till turn 8. Should have been turn 7 if uh, I didn't let the 1 star board reroll. But I did. Small mistakes. That was a disgusting game. That it was. We're farmed YouTube content at the beginning of this patch for sure. Six Murlocs. Doesn't have a second buddy yet. Doesn't have any six stars. So we don't fear Divine Shield Poison. Like a Malgadon. I like him being at 40 health though. So like we never beat this. This eventually gets to a Malgadon's and there's no world we beat this thing. But Florgal high rolled the shit out of this lobby too. Like, Florgal's not that good right now, overall. But, like, that's a hell of a... I'm still 40 health. Oh, wait, he's not 40 health. What am I saying? Why did it show 40 for a second there? Why did it show him on 40 and then drop him to 16? Am I going insane? Maybe I'm going insane. That's possible, too. Now I'm just not confident about what I saw, because it makes no sense to see that. I want it, damn it. I don't care if it's right. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> oh.
I don't want to commit the goal. It's okay. Like, it's a good thing. It prevents value trading from the, the Divine Shield. It only saves one minion on the board. And there's about a, you know, three out of seven chance he bumps with one of these things. And they're not even that big. 16. Yeah, 16 is the number. We'll take 30 minutes to let this animation play real quick. You won't die. I mean, there's a big difference between us losing a round and winning a round. Like, I don't care about dying. I care about getting this guy to die before we queue into something that eventually gets past us. Because right now, we are big stat board, but big stat boards don't typically win lobbies. So if we force other people low and they die, we get a better placement. But I think we still win the fight pretty handily here. The average elemental board progressed by three turns from that. While good, doesn't match this level of stats, right? So it's a difference between us doing like six damage to him and us doing three or four damage to him. Florgal licking lips. I mean, Florgal's at five health. It's the reason why it's important to damage people in the middle of the game. Force these guys not to be able to play for six stars in Amalgadons. See, like that bumped. Look at it go. Just value trade my whole board. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Absolutely perfectly okay with that result. It's poor Nas. I mean, he's playing the game normally. He's lucky to get the top four. Look at that kind of board. No poor Nas there. He had a playable game. Look at our minions pulling up there. I think we're going to commit. Yeah, we're definitely committing one of the two resources. Too bad we can't get the random minion off the board. We're going to play this golden unit next turn, so we can actually play like something like Selfless Hero here. Cycle through. You could argue Ghoul is better than Selfless against the six elemental board. I think I'd argue that's true, and if so, we're going to be gold efficient here. So many stats, though. Do we think we can lose this? Nah. Get them all. Collecting 12 Wrath Weavers so far. Why does this cheese strat work? Because this game is in a weird state. Yeah, we we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're, we Gucci. I was a little worried about the extra attack on the Divine Shield. That's why I played the Ghoul. Kind of prevents that thing from just murdering us. Especially on like a big, like mega overkill, whatever thing. Or Divine Shield. Level of three for Argus? Why? Why would I want Argus? I don't see a real reason to play it. Why are you today? Cuz. Cuz not dead. That's why I am. Why aren't you taking damage? Dak card. Are we selling the ghoul? Elementals, Murlocs. If we are, then we should buy up and cycle this stuff before tripling. I think it's a no. You get extra buffs on the underling by having two Wrath Weavers, right? When you play the demons through. That's why.
He's nothing. How do you feel about the new patch? Very interesting. Love the patch. If you were looking for a game where you can pick any hero and you can then win the lobby with it, or any hero and you're going to have a ton of agency, this is a really bad patch for you. If you're the type of person like me that wants to optimize the game no matter what, and that might mean playing for tempo in games, turning a sixth into a third, playing all of those different types of positions, and this game is absolutely fantastic right now because there are a million things that we don't understand and there's a ton of things to learn. Shrug. Irritates me that you're still a tavern too? Why? Why would it irritate you? Why would that evoke an emotion? <laughs> you're on tavern too? Meta breaking. A breaking meta featuring multiple pink men. Skrillex remix. <laughs> This is my experience with Illidan too. While your hero power is super good, it isn't as broken as some of the other things in the game. And a couple immunities on the board don't make up for the fact that other people have hundreds and hundreds of stats on you. Like Barov just gets to go to six so quickly that he kills everybody. We obviously have a hilarious high roll over here. Yeah, we don't care about that for three gold. Should just cycle it. You go to the board. <sighs> All right. There's really little value of gambler ever from this position, but as always with an open board spot cycle muscle memory. All right, that should be the end. So we level. We'll take the four here. It's unlikely to be useful, but we also want tavern damage to be able to finish this game off. And we're just done. Like we board locked ourselves now too. What's your current win streak? 11. See how big the Barov board gets, but this should be a second place game pretty simply. Does he get to Amalgadons? He does, so we auto lose and we play the next game. All right, good game. Doesn't matter if we die there or not. Like, it's an auto loss. We can't beat this. 100% the case all the time. Easiest MMR of your life. <laughs> GG.